Morning everyone, Ray from Hike A Lot. Here with you this morning to do a quick product review. Uh, the puppy that you guys have seen in my videos, if you've been watching, uh, she is rapidly approaching old enough for me to take out on the trail, and she's an absolute spaz. Most of the time she's running around like this, and she's so incredibly easy to lose. I take her outside, especially at nighttime, and she just vanishes. She, she wants to go chase bunny rabbits and the cat and whatever else she can find. The other day, my wife surprised me, and she had ordered this, which I had never heard of. Uh, it's a five GPS collar. And this is the Series 3, so it's this, really the third gen for it. And I thought we'd do a quick um, quick walk through and opening and look and see what's inside it. Uh, it's got great reviews on it, and so we'll take you guys along on the journey. Okay, so when the 5 Series 3 shows up in the mail, it shows up just like this. It wasn't packaged in anything else. Uh, I actually wasn't even sure what it was when it when it showed up. It was kind of a surprise to me, so let's uh, let's pop into it and see what we've got. A little pull tab over here. Ah. There's a new breed of dog collar. All right, so it gives you the instructions for downloading the app to get started, which I have gone ahead and preemptively downloaded that. Okay, so we've got the charging cable over here. We've got the dock to charge the actual device. It's a wireless charging. Um, from what I've read, it sounds like the battery, as long as the dog stays kind of inside the perimeter and it's not doing the constant breadcrumb dropping, it uh, sounds like the battery's good for about a month, month and a half, somewhere in that neighborhood, maybe two. Uh, but we'll, we'll definitely give that a whirl and, and find out. We got those over there. That's all charging. And this is the actual device. Uh, one of the differences from the, the Second gen or, or series two to the series three is a reduction in the size for this. It's actually really small, which I'm glad because uh, Topo is not a big dog. She's only about 35 pounds, which was kind of what I was looking for. And so right now, I'm actually very content with the size of it. And then in here, I think my wife ordered the pink collar because after all, she is a little girl. And she's gonna hate me being able to keep up with her because she likes to go chase those bunnies. Okay, so yeah, so we've got the collar and I'll have to figure out how to get this piece onto here. And I think I'm gonna char charge it up first. And then we've got instructions down on the bottom. It looks like in the app uh, when I open, okay, so this is actually for putting the actual device on onto the collar, so I'll have to check that out. Okay, so one thing really quickly uh, to get the the connection here. There's actually a locking mechanism inside inside the back of the collar. You just take your thumb and just prise it out and it's magnetic. So from there, you literally just slide the, the grooved metal up into there and then flick that back. And that's all locked into place, so pretty slick. Okay, so now that we've been on the five collar for a couple weeks, I want to give you guys a quick walkthrough of the actual application inside your phone. And, I'm, and don't worry, I know this is small. I'm going to do some big blow-up pictures here for you. Uh, you come into the main uh, live window down at the bottom. Uh, this is kind of what it looks like. It have a little brief profile and tell you exactly where your dog is and whether or not it's connected. Gives you your battery strength. Um, all right, so she's been on it now for two weeks on a charge. And it runs down about 15 to 20 percent per week so i think it's going to be pretty much on point for about a once a month uh, update on it you have a little icon over here that when you click on it you can turn on the light on side of the collar with different colors and you just scroll across and pick which one you want and that way it's easier to find your dog at night which i thought that was a really slick feature all right so it goes through and if you scroll through it's going to give you points of interest to where the dog's been recently and if by chance you lose your dog you click into here uh, it's going to show you on the map exactly where your dog is at that point as long as it's connected and i've not had any issues with the connectivity at all but then you can also click this lost button up here and it's going to go through and start pinging and constantly try to sync up uh, which i'm going to turn that back off and ask you if you want to keep trying to or if you found it you can disable the lost the lost dog look which i thought was a really slick feature but it just uses google maps to go through and actually show you where things are got another little menu option down at the bottom this is more like the community uh, where it's people who have got the five collars that are going through and posting pictures of their dogs uh, which you do under their profile page 
So you set up your individual account. Uh, you can set up, you can, you can attach it to like an Instagram account. Kind of gives you some some just basic stats on the dog. So she's 35 pounds, she's about seven months old. This is what her breed is. Uh, just kind of goes through and you can throw in a couple pictures. So if a person finds the dog, it's a little easier to track down. You can go into this menu down at the bottom, a little chart, and it actually goes through and it tracks both their activity and their sleep patterns. And these can all be trended out from an hourly perspective to a daily, to a weekly, uh, to a monthly, uh, which like I said, she's only been on it for about two weeks now. Um, but it does the same thing for both sleep and activity, which I thought was really neat. It's kind of crazy to see how much they move around in the course of a day. And then it also, this middle button here is a ranking. So it'll go through and tell you for all the dogs on the five collars, sort of where yours ranks based on activity. And then also all the ones that are the same breed and then also geographically where they are. So it groups them together by state, which I thought was really slick too. Okay guys, hopefully you found that beneficial. And if it's something that's piqued your interest and this is an item that you think you would wanna check out yourself, I'm gonna throw a link down at the very bottom uh, where you can go through and purchase that yourself and check it out. And hopefully this will uh, allow you to take your furry companion on, on a lot of adventures out on the trail. And as always, if you're out on the trail right now watching this, just remember, left foot, right foot, repeat, We'll see you out there soon.